Listen, there are secrets out there that pro photographers are using to create stunning images. Secrets that they're using to drive their businesses forward to success and leave their competition behind. Learning and implementing these secrets that I'm sharing in this video will help you to leap ahead. I gotta say though, number four on this list is probably going to trigger some of you, so make sure you stick around to the end. Without further ado, these are the five secrets pro photographers don't want you to know. Starting off our list, the first secret is that the quality of your images doesn't really matter. I'm sure many of you have either seen or know a photographer who produces amazing quality images, yet they can't seem to make enough money in photography to sustain their business. On the other hand, there are many photographers out there producing lower quality images that somehow seem to be in business for decades. How does this make any sense? We hear all the time that getting that new camera or lens will help us to get better quality images that in turn will possibly make us more money. The reality is that pros out there making money in photography aren't necessarily pumping out A-level quality of images. The secret is that they're producing consistency in whatever level of images that they're producing. If you're a photographer today looking to become a successful pro, focus on delivering consistent quality of whatever level of photography you might be able to produce. You'll have your competition wondering how you're still around making money with your photography while you're smiling all the way to the bank. Up next on our list of secrets pros don't want you to know is the importance of post-production. Many pros out there try to downplay the role that retouching plays in the final output of their work. The reality is that most professional photographers are taking their images in raw format, which captures the widest dynamic range in their images and allows them to make all sorts of adjustments without destroying the quality of their work. Raw files typically lack the contrast, sharpness, and color saturation that you would get baked into your images if you shot them in JPEG, so they all need to be processed in programs like Lightroom and Photoshop to get pro results. Cameras nowadays are capturing images with more megapixels in detail than ever. Unless you have an OCD level of attention to detail, you'll likely miss little things here and there that might detract from your images. That's where post-production comes in to help you get back to an image that's a little closer to what you see with your own eyes while you were capturing the shots. Listen, if you want to get pro quality imagery, make sure you spend time learning post-production software like Photoshop to help you take your images to that level. Speaking of learning post-production, one of the questions I get most often is regarding my retouching process. A few years ago, I released a full-length tutorial called Dramatic Portraiture 101, where I laid out all of the details of my process from start to finish, including how I light my images, posing, and of course, my entire retouching process. It's been available on my website for $299, but for the month of September, you can now get the entire seven hour course for only $89. In the full tutorial, you'll see four different photo shoots with male and female subjects, and then see how I select the images before I take them into post to make them look their very best. You'll see the entire process using programs like Capture One, Lightroom, Alien Skin Exposure, and of course, Photoshop. If you're wanting to learn how to retouch your portraits like a pro, download your copy of Dramatic Portraiture 101 today and save $210 for a limited time. The link for this deal is in the description below. Let's roll on and talk about the next secret that pros don't want you to know, and that's the true role of lighting. A few years ago, I watched many professional photographers and videographers for that matter, freaking out over the amazing dynamic range the cameras like the Sony a7S were able to capture. They were putting out these tests where they were taking images in near darkness and then boosting it up in post-production. Here's the reality though. While cameras are getting better and better at allowing us to capture images in less than ideal situations, the truth is that you need great lighting if you're gonna capture truly great images. If you're capturing images in crappy light, you're likely going to end up with a crappy image overall. If I had to pick one thing that I believe would take images to a professional level, I'd say the simple answer is lighting. Learn to find great available lighting situations which typically present themselves during golden hour or you can create your own light anytime using off-camera flash and modifiers. 
Okay, at number four on this list, we're going to talk about the idea of standard or average pricing as it relates to photography. One of the most common questions I get is in regards to how much to charge for photography. If you search online, you'll get all sorts of figures ranging from as low as $25 an hour up to $250 an hour. Now, before you go changing up your price list, let me ask you a question. How much would you pay for a photograph of a potato? How much would you think you could sell a photo of a potato? The question may sound silly, but allow me to share with you the story of photographer Kevin Abosh. Back in 2015, he was able to sell a photograph of a potato on a plain black background for, get this, 1 million euros. That's just over a million dollars here in the US for what may be one of the most basic photos I have ever seen. This story illustrates the secret that I wanna make sure you all learn, and that is that standard pricing in the art of photography doesn't really exist. Listen, you're able to charge as much as your market and talent allows. Just like anything else out there, the market will decide whether or not your images are perceived as being worth what you're asking for. But understand that pro photographers aren't concerned with this idea of standard or average prices for particular images. They create images and sell them for as much as they can possibly get, regardless of what others are charging. In at number five, one of the big secrets that pros don't want you to know is the role that social media plays in their success. While most photographers do a good job of sharing their images on websites like Facebook and Instagram, they aren't doing it with any type of strategy or purpose in mind other than just getting likes. Pro photographers use social media to put their images directly in front of their potential clients with a goal of getting hired for their work. Many aspiring photographers wait patiently, hoping that a client or brand will contact them and throw lots of money their way to shoot. The secret is that pro photographers are oftentimes paying with their own money to shoot campaign quality images and gain the attention of the people that they would like to work with. I've known many pros who have paid tens of thousands of dollars to book models, wardrobe and hairstylist and a location to add images to their portfolio just so they can turn around and use those images to approach companies to get hired. Oftentimes they do this via social media by sending direct messages and tagging the brands in their timelines and stories. So you may not have that kind of money to put together a high budget production, but that shouldn't stop you from creating great images of your own and developing a social media strategy to attract potential clients' attention and give them confidence that you're the right person for the job. There are so many more secrets that I'd love to share with you that I'll leave for a future video, but if you found this one useful, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and maybe share it with your photography friends. I also invite you to join my Facebook group, Improve Your Photography with Miguel Quiles. There you can share your images, ask questions, and socialize with other creatives. I'll leave a link for that in the description for this video, so stop on by and I'll see you there.